Welcome to Scrapple TV. This week in nerd news, the body of Richard III has finally been discovered. Paramedics in the scene said there was nothing they could do as the only two blood donors of the royal blood were still missing. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Big news this week from the final frontier. Curiosity, our Mars rover that was launched in the late 2011 and successfully landed on the surface of Mars. Its mission to explore the Gale Crater, which sounds like a stripper's name, but it isn't. Curiosity finds itself in news again after defacing the red planet. This weekend, a long drill emerged from the rover's metal casing and plunged its spinning bit deep into the red planet, which makes the process sound sexier than it is. Injuries? Well, no rocks were actually harmed during the space mission. Accomplishments, a rock was dubbed John Klein, a name honoring a recently deceased NASA engineer who worked on the rover project. Curiosity Project scientist Professor John Grotzinger said, The rock is behaving well and it looks pretty soft, so that's encouraging, tells BBC News. The rover's mission is to try to determine whether Gale has ever had the environments that were capable of supporting bacterial life. Detailing the composition of rocks is critical to the investigation, as the deposits in the crater will retain a geochemical record of how the planet may have been formed. Drilling a few centimeters inside such a rock provides a fresh sample, whereas previous samples have been susceptible to weathering or radiation damage. Some may recall that the Tolkien estate was unhappy with New Line Warner Brothers over the use of the author's material in a gambling capacity. The estate is upset for both ethical misuse and because the official estate wasn't getting any share of their dragon hoard. Well, just today, everybody has agreed to profit equally in getting their hands on your precious money, that is. And by agree, I mean New Line Warner Brothers have brought about a countersuit. Those filthy CEOs. Will you be able to score big with triple bilbos, or trilbos, in a slot machine soon? Well, anyone who's been to Vegas in the past five years has already played Lord of the Rings slot machines. And yes, it's tacky, and it's awesome, and awful, and I love it. This week, an experimental self-driving car hit the streets while still in its infancy. But when do they hit the market? And who will they be driving over in the market? Well, according to Sebastian Throne, the director of the Google project, we're not talking about 20 years here, but more like five. But the beta test versions are already out there. According to the site Spiegel, Volvo has already successfully drove a convoy of five vehicles that only had one human driver in the lead car. BMW sent a robotic car on a two-hour drive from Munich to Nuremberg, and Volkswagen, along with Stanford University, caused a stir with their driverless Audi sports car, which has been seen zipping around the U.S. racetracks. So they're driving around already. But what happens when the cars start zipping around having accidents? I mean, scientists and engineers have never screwed up before, so why doubt them now, right? Well, for one, the same Spiegel article states no other invention in the history of civilian technology has ever caused as much harm as automobile has. A person dies in a traffic accident somewhere in the world every 30 seconds. Humans had their shot. To date, how many people have been killed by self-driving cars? None. So compared to humanity's record, they're doing pretty damn good. And let's face it, a lot of people would much rather talk on their phones while driving, or eat, or both. So prepare yourself, kids. The car of the future is coming to lull you into complacency so that Skynet can finally lead us into our eventual submission to their superior wisdom. Yes, let's just hit the surrender button now. No, wait. Let's hit the button that makes the robot hit the surrender button for us. Science. 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 You are terminated. I'm Fallon Joslin for Nerd News, and you've had Dorito dust on your shirt the whole time.